Hey, the prophet now receives a burden against the Philistines, so we're going to read Zechariah, Zechariah chapter 9, verses 5 to 8. Ashkelon shall see it in fear, Gaza also shall be very sorrowful. In Ekron, for he dried up her expectation, the king shall perish from Gaza, and Ashkelon shall not be inhabited. A mixed race shall settle in Ashdod, and I will cut off the pride of the Philistines. I will take away the blood from his mouth, and the abominations from between his teeth. But he who remains, even he shall be for our God, and shall be like a leader in Judah, and Ekron like a Jebusite. So now he gets this oracle against the Philistines. Now you might know that just south from Sidon, and then next comes south, going south is Tyre. The next nation next south from that is, uh, is Philistia. It's the, the five cities of the Philistines. And so we see them featured prominently in this burden now about the Philistines. For a long time, the Philistines have been uh, primary enemies of God's people. And so uh, you look at this and you say, well, could God or would God bring them together, these Philistines with the Hebrews? Is, is, does he, is he willing for them to come and become part of his people? Uh, really? Uh, and, and yet, um, let's look especially at the very last portion of this, of this oracle. So in his prophecy, Zechariah has this, he who even remains shall be for our God. And that's an interesting piece because, you know, when, the, when David and the Israelites invaded and they took over the city of Jebus, what did they do? Did they destroy all the Jebusites? No, they allowed them to remain and they sort of integrated them into the community. And so when it says somebody from Ekron will be like a Jebusite, that, that is saying that God is, is bringing people in. God is integrating people. And so we want to be part of that. Remember now, we're in the last half of these 14 chapters, the book of Zechariah. The, and what this is, you know, that we have the, our prophetic oracles in the first part. And now we've got a part that is all kind of about God's poetic encouragement for the nations. He's bringing us all together. We read it again and again in different places here. God is pulling people together. He's inviting people into his kingdom. So all these blessings that God has, he's not trying to just keep these just for Jewish people. Uh, he is trying, he's not even trying to give all blessings just to, uh, you know, say, say an evangelical Christian or, or whatever. God is bringing us all together. He wants us all built in. He wants us all in his kingdom. And he has blessings for all of us. Now, what we need to do is renounce self and be willing to go God's way. Follow the Ten Commandments. Be like Jesus. This my song uh, in the house and in the home. Be like Jesus all day long. Uh, these are things that God wants us to do. And this will be good for every single person. So that's the vision that Zechariah has here is people coming, coming to the city, coming from all over and coming and joining themselves to God's kingdom. So that's what we want to do in these days is we want to come along and let God transform us from the inside out and the world will, will be changed uh, one by one by one as we receive the work of God's Holy Spirit inside our heart and then it is expressed outside in all that we do. God be with you today and bless you and bring you back tomorrow morning.